চাইলে যাইতে পারি আমরা একসাথে আমি অলরেডি আমরা লাইভে আছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহ মো আপু আপনার পেজ থেকে যাওয়া যাচ্ছে না you may go live before 2:14 if you don't live to the team still not global solutions present আমাদের সাথে আজকে কোহস্ট হিসেবে আছে আমাদের বিএসসি কনসালটেন্সি সিইও এবং ফাউন্ডার मिस्टर সুলাইমান এবং ফ্রেন্স কনসালটেন্সি এর আমাদের ফাতেমা মাহফু আজকে আমাদের লাইভ সেশনে হাঙ্গেরি ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ মিচকোস ইউনিভার্সিটি জিনি ডাইরেক্টর ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ডাইরেক্টর মিস ক্রিস্টিনা সন্ডার যিনি আমাদের সাথে জয়েন হয়েছে ফর টেকনিক্যাল কারণে এখনো পর্যন্ত আমি জয়েন হতে পারিনি কিছুক্ষণের ভিতর আমরা ওনাকে নিয়ে আমাদের কাজটা শুরু করব কোন ভাই কিছু বলতে পারেন সুপ্রিয় শিক্ষার্থী বন্ধুরা আমাদের লাইভ সেশনে আপনাদেরকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমরা আসলে হাঙ্গেরির জন্য হাঙ্গেরিতে উচ্চ শিক্ষার ব্যাপারে আপনাদের আজকে এই প্রোগ্রামের মাধ্যমে কিছু গাইডলাইন দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব কিভাবে আপনি আপনার এই ভিসা প্রসেসিং থেকে শুরু করে অ্যাডমিশন অ্যাডমিশন ভিসা প্রসেসিং এবং পরবর্তীতে স্টুডেন্টের করণীয় কি কি ডকুমেন্টস লাগবে কিভাবে প্রসেস করবেন কি কি কস্টিং হবে एवरीथिং আমরা আপনাকে আপনাদেরকে গাইডলাইন দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব টেকনিক্যাল কারণে আমাদের গেস্ট এখনো জয়েন করতে পারেনি সো আমাদেরকে একটু সময় দিবেন আপনাদেরকে ধৈর্য ধরে থাকার জন্য অনুরোধ করছি এবং আপনাদের যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন থেকে থাকে অবশ্যই আমাদের এই লাইভে গিয়ে প্রশ্নগুলো করুন আমরা আপনাদের প্রশ্নের জবাব গেস্ট হাজির হলেই আপনাদেরকে প্রশ্নের উত্তরগুলো সঠিকভাবে দেওয়ার জন্য চেষ্টা করব अपेक्षा টেকনিক্যাল প্রবলেমের কারণে আমরা একটু সময় নিচ্ছি আপনারা আমাদের সাথেই থাকুন আর কিছুক্ষণের ভিতরে আমাদের আমরা আমরা আমাদের মূল প্রোগ্রামে ইনক্লুড হয়ে যাব সুলাইমান ভাই বলেন কিছু মৌ তো আছে মৌ কথা বলো এরপর আমি কথা বলি আসলে আসসালামু আলাইকুম সবাইকে আশা করি সবাই ভালো আছেন আমি ফ্রেন্ডস কাফেতেসি থেকে সর্বতারা মৌ বলছি সবাই মিলে আজকে আসলে হাঙ্গেরি মিউনিসিপাল ইউনিভার্সিটি নিয়ে আমরা প্রতিনিধি আছেন যিনি এখানে কথা বলবেন টেকনিক্যাল কারণে যেহেতু একটু দেরি হচ্ছে আপনারা একটু চেষ্টা করতে পারেন আপনারা দেখতে পাচ্ছেন যে অনেকগুলো কমেন্ট অলরেডি চলে আসছে সো যদি শর্ট করে ব্রিফিং দেওয়া যায় সাবিব ভাই বলতে পারবেন একটু একটু যদি শর্ট করে ব্রিফ দিয়ে দেন তাহলে হয় সে স্টুডেন্ট একটু জানতে পারবে সো আমি একটু হাঙ্গেরি সম্পর্কে বলে দেই যে হাঙ্গেরি এই মিনিটে হাই হ্যালো হাই হ্যালো Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. I'm sorry for this little technical problem. Unfortunately, no, no, I have internet, no, internet no, problems. No, no, problems. no, 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 it's okay. Now it seems to be okay. No, no, sorry, no, for no, 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 sorry for keeping you waited. Sorry for keeping you waited. No problem. Okay, I just connect my Winchester. Yeah, yeah sure. Manchester, sure. And, uh, here I am. Uh, here I am. Uh, Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet you. to meet you. Hope you are fine in this situation because uh, we know that the COVID-19 is a very bad situation for all of the world. Okay. Hello, ma'am. This is Mohamed Shwaib from GSC Global Solutions. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And I'm Christina Shango. Uh, I am the coordinator uh, at the University of Miskolc, which is a, a public university in Hungary. Uh, nice to meet you all. I got an invitation from Mohamed, uh, from the CEO, 
to introduce my university to all of you uh, in order to recruit uh, international students uh, from uh, Belgium. Um, yeah, I'm pleased to introduce here is our colleague, Ms. Chaukatara Mo. She is also our uh, colleague, Ms. Uh, from France. Another was Mr. M. D. Sabir Mustafa. Another is our friend, Mr. Sulaiman, founder of BSA Study Group. So yes. you can go ahead with your presentation, then we will see the our uh, one, one question at the side. You can share your screen as well if you have been left up, so you can share the screen. Then we can show you. Okay. There is the option is share screen. Yeah, just a moment. Already we have lots of comments. Yeah. Okay, so Hello. problem Share screen, then the whole uh, internet is over. Okay, so uh, can you give it to me an email? Then I can hear from here. If you send it to me, then I can yeah, present sure. from yeah. here. Send it to me email. Yeah. Hey, it should be there now. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to prepare. You can introduce by mouth the university details. I'm, if I'm getting here, I'm ready to do that. You can continue. Yeah, ma'am, I got it. I'm going to ready. So you can just normally introduce the by mouth about university establishment, this thing. Okay, uh, will you uh, display it on the screen? So will I see I'll the PPT? Do... OK, OK, okay. one minute. Thank you. I'm going to download that. Is it PowerPoint, right? Okay. It's a PowerPoint, yeah. Okay. 
dear student we have a lot of uh, comments we can see give us two minutes so we can continue our presentation then we will take your answer questions amra sulaiman bhai ke dekhte pacchi na uni ki bere gese kina Hello, ma'am. You can see the display. Uh, the University of Miskolc is located in Hungary, and. Uh, Hungary is, as you can see it on the map, is located in the heart of Europe. Now, if you click on uh, that uh, link under the map, please, can you do so? Then uh, I could uh, now just go back to the further to the earlier uh, page. And uh, if you click on uh, the link, then uh, you will see a really short video uh, of uh, Hungary. Just you put you into the mood. We uh, can show that video later. Yeah. Down there, uh, yeah, there is this link. Which uh, can you manage to click on that link? We will, we will play that later, ma'am. Later, okay. Going to yeah. Now, um, could you please uh, skip to the next slide? Yeah. Here so is the Hungary is located in the middle of Europe. And Miskolc is located in the northeast of Hungary. It's only one and a half hours far uh, from the capital of Hungary, and it is the third largest city. It is a, a traditionally industrial city. However, it is the cultural and educational uh, center of uh, the North Hungarian region. Can you please uh, put forward? Yes, uh, on this photo you can see the main uh, building of the University of Miskolc. It looks very modern because we have a lot of new academic buildings. However, it was founded in 1735. So we have a big and a great history. And uh, this is the university where traditions and novelty are combined. Let's skip to the next uh, slide. Can you please put forward? Sorry, can, can we move forward? Okay, so this is a very unique university, uh, not only in Hungary, but also in Central Europe. Because as you can see on the photo, this university is located on an 85 hectare area on a green park. It is really green. It contains not only the academic buildings, but the research laboratories, the seven dormitories for the Hungarian and international students, canteens, bars, restaurants, libraries, and the research centers as well. 
I've already mentioned that the university has a, a huge past because it was established in 1735. However, it still exists and the uh, assortment of the university, the study assortment of the university increased a lot in the past 200 years. We have unique study programs, so not only the campus is unique, but the study programs, which are available in Hungary only at the University of Miskolc. Uh, these are the Faculty of Earth Science and Engineering, the uh, Earth Science uh, training programs, and also some training programs from the Faculty of Material Science. We are not a big and not a small university. The number of students uh, is approximately 10,000, and we have right now approximately 500 international students. And these 500 international students mainly study at the full degree programs of the university. And the students uh, arrive to the university from all over the world, uh, from more than 60 countries. Now, as you can see, the university have faculties, humanities, law, economics, health science, music institute, mechanical engineering and information technology, material science and engineering, earth science and engineering. In Hungarian, we offer a whole lot of training programs at bachelor, master and PhD level. However, in English, uh, we offer 18 full degree English language study programs at two levels, which are the master and the PhD. The master program uh, takes four semesters whereas the PhD program takes eight semesters to complete. Can we move uh, to the next slide? Thank you. Here you can see the list of the study programs uh, that we offer to international students listed by faculties. Uh, at the end of the study program, you can see whether it is a PhD program or a master program, and also uh, the prices which are shown in euro and per semester, so not by academic year, but semester. The most popular ones among international students are the Master of Business Administration program, the Software and Information Engineering program, the Materials Engineering program, but also the Petroleum Engineering, Hydrogeological Engineering and the Petroleum Geoengineering programs at master level are really popular among international students. These last study programs are highly unique uh, in Europe and mainly in Central Europe, which are offered at the University of Mishkots. Can we move to the next slide, please? Yes. Uh, you could see it uh, on the slide that our university is ranked by QS uh, among the 1,000 best uh, universities in the world, which is uh, a very good position uh, for the University of Mishkots. We are on to um, increase uh, the number of quality assurance uh, certificates of the university, and we constantly strive to uh, to better to improve our training programs and the services. As for the application for the international students, application is done online, as you could see it on the previous uh, slide. So we have an online application system, but everything is uh, clearly uh, introduced and explained uh, to the applicants. Now, if we move to this slide, let me tell you some words about the academic requirements of the university. So, all we need uh, is to complete the application form where the student can uh, select the study program he or she is interested in. Uh, they have to upload the bachelor or the master degree, depending on what kind of uh, study cycle he or she uh, is applying to. We require the students also to upload a language uh, certificate or a document that confirms the language knowledge, the level of the uh, applicant. 
but we do not require, so there's no need of an IELTS or a TOEFL language exam because uh, there is always uh, an online, usually a Skype interview between the university professors and the students whereby the professors uh, make sure uh, about the language uh, um, command of the applicant. And of course there are some uh, other formal uh, requirements that the applicant uh, has to meet, like um, they have to upload a medical certificate, the degree, uh, the passport, and so on. But all these um, uh, formal requirements uh, are listed at the online application form. And what we offer uh, if the student, uh, the applicant, uh, decides to uh, choose the University of Mishpats. We offer them competitive and up-to-date training. We have really, really good, well-equipped laboratories at the campus of the university. On this photo, you can see from bird's eye view the campus of the university, and you can see those many buildings, the sports halls, the swimming pool, the research laboratories, uh, the dormitories are all in one. So, uh, we offer them really competitive uh, knowledge at a really competitive uh, price. Uh, we have a really green campus, the largest campus in Hungary. We have a mentor system made up of Hungarian and international students of the University of Miskolc who take care of the freshman uh, uh, students arriving at the university. They organize social programs uh, all year long uh, and they help them to integrate into the social and academic life of the university. We've also established a very active alumni network of the university for international students, which is active not only uh, after uh, their graduation, but during their uh, student years, uh, they are very active in organizing programs uh, and um, representing the, the needs of the international students towards the management of the university. Uh, as I've mentioned, we have a lot of gyms, we have a, a lot of bars, we have a, a lot of uh, sport facilities at the university. We have a very modern uh, campus infrastructure and uh, actually uh, if we go back to the further slide, the earlier slide, I can, I would like to tell that Hungary and Miskolc is a really great stepping stone for the international students to get to know not only the culture of Hungary, but also uh, those of the surrounding countries, because uh, it is located uh, not only in the heart of Hungary, but in the heart of Europe as well. Now, um, I'm waiting for your questions. Uh, I probably forgot to tell uh, many things, but uh, I'm here to answer uh, your questions, please. Uh, okay. Thank you, ma'am, for your presentation. First of all, I would like to introduce here our uh, honorable guest, Dr. Rudlakshad is here, so we can talk each other. Ms. Christine and Dr. Rudlakshad, you can talk here. So we can ask our presentation. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. I, I cannot really hear you. Maybe we cannot it's my hear you. Dr. Shardi, we cannot hear you. Oh. No. No, I can't hear you. So how about we can share with our family? Ma'am, here is a student right here. Wow. 
Well, uh, I read a question here. If it is a question, I'm not sure. Four years job experience, no IELTS. What will be best way? What What is this uh, question? What will be best Actually, way? Actually, uh, he was trying to say that uh, he's completed his SSC is 4.50 in 2008. HSC completed uh, with GPA 3.80 uh, in 2010. And BBA completed uh, CGPA 3.08. And after uh, that, he has a four-year job experience and uh, no else, no else. So no, what would be the way to get an MBA or master's uh, admission? Or is it possible? Well, uh, in case uh, he has a, a, a BBA and uh, has four years of job experience, uh, yeah, yeah. What, what is the original degree? Original? The original degree. So, what is the degree? Oh, yeah, it's uh, bachelor of bachelor, bachelor of business administration. Be, oh, bachelor of business administration. Bachelor, yes, then, yes, yes. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the best uh, degree we uh, expect uh, for a master of business administration training program. I think that the applicant has uh, all possibilities uh, in case he applies for the program to to get admitted, because. Uh, as I told you, there are no uh, uh, entrance examination in writing done by the uh, professors uh, for the MBA program at master level. All we need is uh, a degree at a similar uh, study program. And uh, I also mentioned that we require no IELTS uh, language exam. All we need is uh, a document that uh, confirms that uh, he or she has uh, studied English and uh, has uh, uh, knowledge uh, at level B2 because uh, via the Skype interview, the professors will make sure uh, of the language common uh, of the applicant. So uh, uh, I, would, I would suggest uh, for the applicant to, to try uh, and uh, submit the application. It means he can apply for his uh, medium of instruction, uh, right? A four years bachelor degree. He, he was bringing medium of instruction, so uh, he can apply with that with English uh, exam test. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Actually, I forgot to mention. I didn't have time, and I'm sorry for this technical problem. Uh, it's really, no, really no problem. good. Uh, so. Uh, in case of the Master of Business Administration, we don't uh, require uh, even job experience before uh, the application because uh, we have a really strong uh, uh, connection with industrial partners in the region and we provide the students with uh, the job experience. So it's not a requirement. It's not a requirement at any master programs to have a job experience not even in case of MBA, which of course is uh, uh, very much focused on uh, the uh, practical uh, experience as well, but we provide the students with, with it uh, during their studies. Okay. Uh, there is another student, Toby Dislam, say that uh, is there any master's and post-graduation and PhD program is available? PhD program is available. PhD program? Yes. Uh, yes, the Faculty of Economics, which uh, runs this uh, MBA program in English, also has two doctoral schools where the MBA students can continue their studies. And telling the truth, uh, it is very uh, uh, regular that those students who finish their studies at the MBA, international students, either with a scholarship or without a scholarship, uh, apply for the PhD program. The PhD program takes uh, eight semesters, so altogether uh, four years. And um, and yes, so we, we provide the students with the possibility of continuing their studies at the university. We have altogether seven doctoral programs at the university, from engineering to humanities, economics, and law studies, because we also have a faculty of law. So. This university is a really comprehensive university. Okay. And uh, uh, one student said is, uh, what the requirements for bachelor program? Uh, we know. Uh, as I told you, but maybe as the time was really short, uh, we have bachelor programs, but not in English. 
So our university is focusing on offering master and PhD programs in English to international students. So we used to have bachelor programs also in English, but right now we, we don't we don't offer. So I'm afraid uh, it's not possible. Only uh, the second and the third higher programs are available for the students for the international students in English. Okay. So, what would be the actually, uh, uh, Sandra? Uh, uh, let me ask my one question. So, what would be the uh, next step? Like, uh, is the COVID-19 situation? Uh, embassy is there? Embassy date is uh, available or uh, September intake? What will actually what will you do? <laughs> we are really worried about that matter. The September intake, you ask? Yes. What yes. will happen? Uh, yes. Uh, I think Mr. Shardi can uh, just um, confirm <laughs> what I say, that all the Hungarian universities prepare uh, uh, a face-to-face -face, uh, uh, start, so we prepare for the normal track. But uh, we also keep in mind that anything happen, so the universities are prepared uh, if it is necessary to start the semester in distance education, in distance learning. However, we right now um, uh, stick to plan A, which is we receive the students here, not only virtually, but physically as well. So yeah. I believe that, uh, that the, the semester will start uh, as usual and there would be no problems. But if yes, we are yes. prepared to start it online and then to switch on physical education uh, so, with the physical um, appearance of the students any time uh, during the semester. Uh, actually, telling the truth, the number of applicants uh, from uh, faraway countries, uh, the fee-paying students' uh, number uh, does not seem to decrease uh, so much uh, at the University of Michigan. So, they, uh, they continue uh, applying and... Uh, this is this is very uh, um, positive that uh, they seem not to be afraid of uh, the the new start. Yeah, definitely hope for the best, and uh, we will think about that actually. So, Shobhya, please continue. Uh, Sardeep, sir, how are you? No, we can hear you. No, we cannot hear you. Maybe I don't know what's it. happening in Hungary, but uh, something is uh, really uh, <laughs> technical problem. Is there? Yeah, here as well. My left, my electricity. My I have also problem from my side. I cannot log in from my ID, so I have to out and join from even today. I don't know what happened going on. Okay, it's a pity that I couldn't show you the we videos cannot... uh, which uh, I uh, collected in my uh, presentation because uh, that would have given you a picture of the university, uh, a full picture of the university and of Mishkots as well. Uh, but um, I really hope that uh, there will be a next time and then we can, uh, I can show you all what I wanted to. Uh, as for the September intake, uh, we are still uh, ready to receive applications till the 30th of June. So, uh, if there's anyone uh, uh, who is thinking of uh, submitting applications uh, now, we are still open. Uh, professors are here and uh, we can do the uh, entrance examinations till the 30th of June, as the whole semester is a bit prolonged due to the COVID-19. Okay. Uh, I have one question. There is one student here have completed LLB. So you are offering any LLM program relevant like this? Uh, actually, uh, what we offer at the Faculty of Economics, if he is interested in that kind of uh, studies, then it's only the Master of Business Administration that we offer. But I think that this business management uh, uh, degree. LLB, so you are offering any? Yeah. So only this. 
student also said that uh, he completed his uh, HCBM on a higher, sec higher certificate of business management from South Africa. So, uh, yes, is there not a degree? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Okay. okay. So uh, about the COVID-19, still there is a embassy at close in New Delhi. So in, if it in case classes start from September, they cannot join the due time. So what is the you're planning to accept them? If they cannot join? Yes. Because it's still in New Delhi, Hungarian embassy is closed. So maybe they will open in August or they, there is embassy lack of appointment issues. So if, what is the they, plan if for if they don't mind to start the semester online it's possible uh, the hungarian government uh, has just uh, made uh, or changed the legislation and made it possible to register uh, for the university for international students online because so uh, already already hungarian government decided that issues because i spoke some other universities they said it's still on process this situation yeah. What I what I told is that the government decided to make a change in the legislation and let the international students register online to make it official because earlier uh, international students could join could register at a university and have a student status if they uh, are here uh, physically, but now this has changed and uh, they will be able to enroll also uh, virtually. So if the students who uh, start their studies in September uh, cannot enter Hungary, uh, then they can uh, enroll and start the semester online and later on uh, when they can uh, manage, they uh, will arrive uh, at the university and continue their studies uh, being physical here. I don't know if I so managed to answer you. So it means that uh, that is the very good decision for everyone. Yeah. It is, definitely. Yeah. But actually, uh, tomorrow there will be a Zoom meeting with the uh, uh, higher education institutions and some governmental uh, office, and we will be talking about uh, this issue, all the universities in Hungary, the international uh, coordinators, uh, who is going to do what and uh, what different solutions and means uh, we uh, developed uh, to overcome the difficulties in September. So, Dr. Shardi, you can speak now. Well, I am uh, giving it another try. Can you all hear me or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, can, yes. okay. we can hear you. Okay, so w w welcome everyone. I'm uh, just giving my uh, words of good afternoon or good morning. Well, good afternoon to the listeners uh, and prospective students uh, who are planning to come to our uh, beautiful country. Perhaps I'm going to teach you this. In Hungarian, we say third time is the charm. Uh, this is the third time that I eventually managed to uh, get connected to you properly. So, Haramo Magyar Igazság in Hungarian. Um, and uh, I also would like to uh, well welcome uh, Ms. Kristina uh, Sándor and uh, personally uh, get to know her. Uh, perhaps we should uh, reflect upon the beauty of our language and just say a few words in Hungarian for the sake of the listeners uh, so that you can hear what it sounds like in a real life conversation. Jó napot kívánok, Krisztán, örülök nagyon, hogy megismerhetem. Én is jó napot kívánok. Hasonló nehézségekkel küzdöttem én is az elején, mert nem jött össze ez a kapcsolat, úgyhogy egy kicsit nehézkesen indult, de remélem, hogy annál gördülünk a nyelv lesz. Now, how does it sound? It's great. All right. Okay. And I just want to confirm a couple of things since you, you've been asking me to give you a confirmation on what is happening in Hungary, although nothing can really be predicted uh, under the present extremely adverse situation in some parts of the world. But surely I would like to reassure 
uh, on behalf of, I assume, most universities in Hungary, which are uh, converting to uh, online teaching, to digital teaching, that it is in your best interest as students to start your studies uh, in a digital platform or on the digital platform. One of the reasons behind which is that once you already gather enough credits throughout the first semester and then you're applying for a visa to participate in our physical education, uh, your likelihood of getting a visa will be much higher than simply walking up front to the embassy, submitting your documents, let's say now in June or July uh, or in August, you're waiting a lot for your visa, you might get rejected as not all the embassies can work with the same capacity uh, and not all the embassies can really verify the real intention uh, of your desire to study in Hungary. You might not be able to speak very good English. Uh, it's one of the reasons uh, why you might get immediately rejected. However, if you have already completed a semester in most universities, your chances of getting in and getting your visa and traveling to Hungary and continuing your studies in a flesh and blood form uh, will certainly increase. Uh, other than that, I can of course tell you that not all the universities have prepared uh, for the uh, for digital teaching. However, uh, University of Mishkolc has been uh, certainly making uh, advances and uh, is a great example to follow. Uh, certainly, you have reached this uh, conclusion much before the university uh, or the National University of Budapest, Utkashlorand University, did so. Um, I am not sure if you, uh, uh, Christina, also think alongside me and believe that starting digital studies will increase the students' chances of uh, getting to Hungary in a physical form with more ease than otherwise. I don't know. I don't foresee the future. Um, maybe. Uh maybe yes maybe no uh, i believe that i, I understand uh, both decisions uh, of students so i understand if students say that in case they cannot come physically uh, then they just want to uh, postpone their studies and uh, start in february maybe in case there's a february intake at the google study program but i also believe that those students who decide to start uh, the studying online in case they cannot enter hungary uh, uh, they also do uh, or make the right decision because uh, online uh, education at the university is uh, uh, is provided for the students. Uh, we've developed our uh, online courses, so um, I think both decisions are fine. We accept both. They can either start if they wish uh, online and then switch to physical education later on. But it's also possible that they postpone their studies uh, to a later time if they decide so. Okay, I do believe that um, perhaps we might want to move on to some questions in this regard. I, um, I am also of the opinion that it's very difficult to predict what is coming up. Um, but let's wait and let's uh, hope for the best. Well, yes, and it's not. It does not depend only on Hungary, but of course, uh, all the other countries uh, where the students come from. So it's really difficult to see what will happen in September because it's even difficult to see what will happen in in one month, where you can travel, how you can enter your country, how you can enter the other country. So it's um, it's not easy, but uh, I think we can. We will solve it. We will manage it, and if we are flexible enough, then there will be no problem. Now, I'd like to actually ask one question, and this is addressed to Mr. Mohammed. Um, uh, Mohammed, uh, uh, tell us so, the, knowing that the school is starting in September, uh, most students will be, after uh, Christina's extremely vivid and stimulating presentation, uh, will start applying uh, definitely in much higher numbers than otherwise. 
uh, how easy or how difficult is it for uh, students to obtain their documents uh, in case there is anything that is missing? I mean, the deadline is just around the corner. Uh, will the students be able to uh, comply with this? Actually, there is a, some student who very interested to apply. Some of them passport office, their passport is still on process. So we are requesting to the universities in case without passport, they can apply with their national ID card. So they can join to the universities with that online classes and they are getting the passport and they can go for visas, then they can continue their study. Is it possible? Uh, are you asking me? No, I'm asking to the Christina. Yes. Sorry. Can you please just... There is a, some student who are uh, applied their passport, but is not ready yet due to the COVID-19. There is a uh, lots of time like uh, taking delay. So are you accepting without a passport, giving them application admission letters with their national ID card? I don't believe. No. No. No, because the uh, passport is an obligatory uh, requirement on the, past, on the part of the university. Uh, um, there is a law we have to abide by, and uh, this is one of the re formal requirements uh, the student has to complete. Is it possible to extend the admission deadline until 15th of July or something else? Uh, yes, so it's possible to uh, to extend it, uh, probably, however, not uh, with uh, with a big period because uh, obviously the professors will uh, have their summer holidays and they won't stay at the university the whole summer time. However, the semester is prolonged now at the university till the end of July, so that's why I'm saying that with one or two weeks, it's possible to uh, extend. Uh, the, uh, that would be big help for us really, because uh, some student will can get the their passport first week of July. So if you give us the opportunity until even not everyone, you can accept for our application until 15 of July. So we can give our approximately 10, 15 application. So uh, this is two different things. They can apply without a visa, but without a passport, that's not a problem. They can later on upload it. However, we cannot issue a final uh, letter of admission to the student without having uh, the passport of the student. So the later we get the, uh, the copy of the passport, the later we can issue this, uh, this letter of admission. And it means that the later can they apply uh, for the, the visa. That's all. So they have the possibility to apply without the visa, without the passport, but we cannot uh, issue the final without. Uh, yeah, that without the conditionally, conditionally letters can be issued. Conditional, conditional letters. Yes, that's a different yeah. issue. Yes. Okay, then fine. So there is actually some some students are interested uh, from mathematics bachelor completed they can join also mba program yeah. uh, yes however in this case uh, there will be some courses which uh, the student uh, has to take as extra courses you know uh, some basic ones which uh, are needed uh, uh, for the studies at the master level but yes, uh, the faculty accepts uh, uh, students with a bachelor degree in mathematics. Okay, so fine. Because he, he's working in the bank, he needs the MBA program, so he mm -hmm. has a job experience as well, so it's relevant to him. Yes, uh, it's, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, we can have a, a lot of comments here but uh, due to the time shortage as you mentioned you have a uh, meetings from 11 so yeah. you'd like to finish you don't want to go long time uh, you can say a few words to our all student and future what we can do it for them sure 
Uh, we can, uh, maybe if you have the time, uh, I will uh, make sure of the internet connection to be uh, fine. However, <laughs> these days uh, the university works uh, a bit uh, not upside down, but not everything is perfect as, uh, you know, uh, most of the people are on holiday. So uh, if, we, if I could have the possibility to have another online session, uh, and to get everything well prepared uh, in advance and check if everything is uh, on the right way. Properly. I, I would be yeah. really glad to, to repeat it this uh, occasion. Okay. Yeah, by by the month, end of the month, if you have time, you can schedule for us another time. We will do the next session. You sure. can give but us your suitable day, time, so yeah. we will continue again. And that we shall make good. sure that everything should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much uh, for being thank here you, and for inviting thank me. You, thank you, thank you so much. Thank and, you so much uh, for coming and yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have bye a good day. Bye bye. 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 Bye.